Below. Más bajo. Over here. So what would be the first question you plan on asking? The one that is with the pivot, could you have done something different to elicit information of the previous class at the end of each part? Yes. Oh, I see. Could you have done mm -hmm. something different to elicit information? Well, I'm going to like explain the, the context okay. of the class. I'm going to say something about that it's right road. And then like make the teacher remember about the class. And then I'm going to ask, could you have done something different to elicit information of the previous class? Mm -hmm. Like to link the Was this when they were using the PowerPoint or something else? It was when the teacher make open questions to elicit information. And then I have like, so is this question directed more, what aspect of your research question is this interview question related? What's the link between this question that you have here to one of, or one of your research questions? How does the teacher differentiate content? Okay, content. Mm -hmm. I have like two categories in this interview, content and process because product, they didn't mean. So <clears throat> the teacher was eliciting information like what? An example? You might be, can you recall an example? Yes, in sociolinguistic teacher ask for information. They are seeing the the, the skills and they are in the in the listening script in sociolinguistics. So the teacher is asking the students. What is what is the importance of okay, what is develop developing the listening skill? Okay, and and so where are you going with this question? What what do you want to achieve? What what would be some additional questions or hasta dónde vas con esta pregunta? Like in order to know if teacher could do something different okay. in which the students demonstrate or express the importance of listening skill when develop it, developing the listening skill. Because you're looking at differentiating the content. Mm -hmm. So if you're if you're asking so I'm thinking what, what the teacher what do you what what do you think the teacher might say and with that question? Could you have elicited or could you have done something different? To elicit information, what do you think? What are some possibilities, some possible answers from the teacher? For me, if this person were for me, I think I will answer like giving the students the opportunity to write in a paper or to, oh yeah, this process not not being more content. Yes. Yes, teacher, but, but because like in the order of the events but, were happening. Uh -huh. You're presenting the same order. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure for you that it's very clear. That it is dónde okay. vas con esas preguntas? Mm -hmm. No quiero que estés pensando que, okay, ese es un differentiating content cuando es proceso. Sí. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Por qué? Tiene que estar muy claro para ti, es decir, hasta si es necesario poner algo aquí, proceso o, o producto. Ahorita en la, en el ejemplo que me, di, me, di, me diste es más dirigido al producto. Yes, it's good. Entonces todo depende, este, ahora, en este ejemplo, el maestro está preguntando, ¿Qué, es, qué, ¿Qué saben de, de listening o qué tan importante es el listening skill o algo así? 
Bueno, vamos a ver otro ejemplo. Discussion number two. Discussions to give opinions of elicited information. Entonces aquí vas a mover este, ¿verdad? La primera. I only want, I only want to change the, instead of content, my process. What I, todos son de proceso? No, what, I, what I'm going to do is like name each paragraph, like content process. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. So number two, discussions to give. All right. Could you have given different options which help students to express? Could you give different options to help students to express what they want to express? All right. So is this content, process, or product? I think this is product again because they are they are expressing what they think their things. What did you see in class that that is making you ask this question? What did you see in your observation that prompted you that said, okay, I'm gonna ask this question because I saw this in class. What did you see in class? Well, as I at the beginning teacher asked why well, cultural background is very important to develop listening skill. Nine. So this is this one like well in the first time. Now like to in order to start the discussion, the students say that because in terms of mathematics, listening and skill in terms of what? I'm sorry? Because in terms of, of pragmatics, listening Pragm pragmatics. Pragmatics, yeah. Listening is a is a skill, is a skill which students have to decode. And make interpretation. So a student answered that? Yes. Okay. And what did you, why did that draw your attention? Why are you even because, curious about because it? Because for me, like in the previous example, for me, there were other ways to express instead of only making comments, okay. like making reflection. Or making like a diagram or okay. And do you know now, because you haven't spoken to the teacher yet, right, for like no. an interview, no. you just have observed. Do you know, for example, through the syllabus or any lesson plans, do you know what the teacher plans on doing later with, I mean, do you know if the teacher's, anything? is there anything in the pro program or syllabus or uh, any lesson plans that indicate products or ways that students are going to work? No, teacher. Only I don't have lesson plans. Only the syllabus. And the next step is to see the graduate skills. Okay, but there's no indication in the syllabus about product. Mm -hmm. They don't have anything in the assessment section about. What they have to produce? Oh, I, I didn't look the assessment. That's probably where it'll be, no? Do you have the program with you? Yes. Okay, let's take a look. Because okay. here, here's the thing, Gomez. Right now, um, what you you only observed one class, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So. If the teacher is just asking questions, okay, and, get, and the students are responding, then for 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 process or for product, it may be not enough information to to really ask a question about how, if they could have done something different in that in that moment, because it's only one class and. Maybe in the pro, let's look at the program. If maybe later there in, there's an indication of what the student's going to do. What's it say under uh, assessment?
is of the Lord. Okay. Now in the content, let's go back to what you have here. Okay, let's go back to content. The teacher is asking questions. And so maybe a question that you could ask about content is, is this information that the teacher is asking, did they see this before in class? Did they have this knowledge from a different class? But mm, the content, I, I want to make sure that it's clear for you ways that the teacher could differentiate content in class, that it's not the teaching technique necessarily, but it's the actual choices that the students make and how they get the information. So how can students get information? They can get it from the teacher. They can get it from a PowerPoint. They can get it from a book. Mm -hmm. They can get it from online. Those are different ways of getting content. Now, content is not necessarily the teacher speaking. I wouldn't necessarily consider that content. But the content is very much linked to the process and the product. That is, when you ask questions about differentiating content, differentiating process, and differentiating pro uh, product, think of it in terms of being all linked together as, as one particular series of tests. Okay, so for, let's look at this. The syllabus. Do you have the syllabus up? All right. So in the let's go in. The, well, I want you to look to see, be able to see it too. So let's look at the assessment section. All right, readings, quizzes, theoretical research project. There's one, pro there's one product, right? Process in the research project. Okay, and applied linguistic project. Right. Or pro so there's two projects, it looks like there's two projects here, and then there's a process here. Um, all right, now these are big projects. These are products that they that they're going to do. So I would start. You know, one thing that you're observing is there anything that they're doing that links to these two projects? Because what you want to do is to see, and these are just two projects, maybe there's other products, smaller products that the teacher's doing throughout, but, but these are two main products. So some questions that you ask might link, might be related to these projects. Are the things they're doing with listening, does that have, does that link in any way to this with the process? Okay. Um, Okay, let's let's take a look here. Okay, the use of the boards. Student writes keywords and listening. On. All right. The use of the board was this an activity? Mm -hmm. um, teacher explanation. Use of the board. All right. Use of the board. All right. So here I see this is, and this is kind of what we talked about last week. Could you have done different options where students have opportunities to choose the way they access this information? So for me, this is an example of the content. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so I like this. This for me is clear, this one, this option. Uh, these two up here, I'm still not sure. Discussions to give up. Could you have given different options for students to express the way they want to express? This is okay if... Um, discussions to give what is GA to GA uh, grammar analysis well do you, do you remember I'm going to turn to classes ah these are two okay, classes okay, okay. Um, okay got it so students say the different sentences okay 
So this is more about process here again, right? Number the second one, discussions and give opinions. Mm -hmm. Remember that? See? All right, so that's fine. This is okay, what you have here. But just make sure it's clear to you that you're talking about process in this case. Here you're talking about content. Mm -hmm. Now here, could you have done something different to listen information? Social linguistics, cultural background, give information to do you have do you remember that your task was to see a series This was so what the teacher said? Uh-huh. Tell me so tell me one of the sentences you find in the video. So this, for me, uh, it depends on how you want to ask, ask this. I don't want you to try to, uh, there, there are going to be times in the class where really differentiation, you, it, I mean, it could, but it's not going to be, you want to look at times where the, there are activities that the, that the students do. It's all based on, act, on an activity. Now, I don't consider necessarily the teacher asking questions to the whole group and the students responding. Yes, that's an activity, but that's not the activity really that I'm referring to. You need to look for activities where they are either working in pairs and groups and or you know that they're they have a you know uh, yeah there it's an activity. Yeah. Yeah. Now, whatever activity they do. Okay, whatever activity they, they do, that's when you look to see what opportunities there are to differentiate content or process or and or product. Now, maybe even still, maybe you can't differentiate all three. But maybe, for example, like if the, te if the students are just doing a, a speaking activity, just interacting amongst themselves, there's probably no product there. But maybe you could ask them, could that have led to a different product? Right? Maybe the teacher didn't do a, 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 a product, but you could ask. Remember when the students were working in pairs and you asked them to do this, practicing and listening? Could you have uh, asked them to do some sort of product? And if so, what type of product? Right? Same way with process. I noticed that we had your students working in pairs. Uh, could you have asked them to give them options, like they choose how they would interact, whether they choose the partner or they choose, you know, some aspect of the see some explico e and the activity, the content. Now the content just depends on the, the situation. You know, maybe they didn't have to get additional content for that activity. So maybe there are no questions really to ask about the content in that particular scenario. But let's say that the, te the teacher says, okay, I want you to work in pairs and do this type of activity, but I want you to find, you know, I want you to use this information that we've been talking about. Now, there might be some opportunities to differentiate the content, but all it's all within that one activity. The three examples that I just kind of uh, explained are all about that one activity. And that activity is not necessarily the teacher talking to the whole group, but more in interactional activity amongst the students. So you, you've got a good idea here, but there's still a couple. Like the first one, I'm not sure about. You know, I would focus more on, on the activities. Not lucky to be here? Well, I think so. I don't, unless you want to ask. You know, a question about the cultural background, about their background knowledge. Yeah, yeah. I, I, in order to focus more on the kids. Yeah. Yes. In your observation, did the students do an activity? No. Okay. So maybe you need to, you know, you have two options here. You can go ahead and start intervening, have an interview, and start talking about planning if you really don't have much information on the uh, Observation, just so you can start. Um, you have a couple of questions here that I think you can talk about, but 
So at the end of this, I have like in process and students participation. Teacher asked, well, in applied linguistics, only teacher asked like the students' opinion. What do you think about this? About the about the students' comments. Teacher asked the students if it was right or what is your opinion about something that someone says. And in in grammar analysis, for example, teacher say who I want two people to read the conversation, right? Your letter B and your letter A, you want to read the conversation. Okay. Yes. And then, for example, in the city arrangement, it was the same for the whole class in the two groups, columns. Is it fine? Is it fine? This question could you have done something different to get to give students additional choices in how to participate or in the way of working? Yeah. Like, for example, in a, mm -hmm. another way of choosing <laughs> the people who want to participate. That's one way. Mm -hmm. um, or, or another choice to work, like, for example, instead of columns, like in teams or, I don't know. Yes, now, it looks like that this is just a letter B, letter A, so that there's only a, just two people involved, mm -hmm. right? But... Um, but yeah, that's the idea. That's that's the kind of questions that you can ask. You might even ask, is there something that they could actually produce from a product as a result of this type of interaction? And if so, how would you would you give them choices on doing the products? I see. So even though that maybe the teacher didn't ask them to do a product. Now maybe the product was a paragraph. Students wrote a paragraph. Okay, is there a different way? Is there a way that they could have given them different options to produce? You know, a product is based on production. So production of anything is a product, pretty much. So it doesn't have to be an elaborate thing. It can be text, written text. It could be, you know, something else. But but yeah, this is the idea. For example, also I have to include where in this part something about the product because I only want to know like well in this for me you know mention another thing but for me like I only want to know if there is like another activities where students can read the conversation or instead of only like saying you are going to be letter B and you're going to be letter A. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, like, making teams, and in these teams, like, involve more, more people to read the, the conversation. I, I only just want to know, like, another activities to read the conversation. Okay. Why are you saying you only want to know that? Because well, because I think, like, There could be another process to create conversation. Ah, okay. I yeah. think. Okay. Estoy de acuerdo en este, nada más con lo que dices. Solamente quiero saber este, en lo que yo estoy proponiendo, que estás considerando, cualquier cosa que estás evaluando, en este ejemplo, estás bien, está bien, todo es lógico, estoy de acuerdo contigo sobre el proceso. Pero no quiero que estés pensando, que okay, nada más, me interesa en el proceso en este ejemplo. Okay. Quiero que también estás reflexionando, ok, claro, proceso, voy a preguntar algo de ese proceso. Pero también, yo sé que el maestro no hizo nada de producto, pero ¿podría hacer uno? Mm -hmm. También quiero que estés también pensando en otro. Lo obvio es el proceso, claro. Mm -hmm. Está bien, pregunta eso, para saber eso. Pero quiero que en cualquier actividad, Estás pensando en los tres, con, estás considerando los tres, tal vez no nada más vas a preguntar uno, pero estás considerando los tres para ver qué podrían hacer. En este caso, el contenido tal vez no, no, pues no hay mucho ahí por el, por el contenido. Proceso, claro, hay algo. 
pero también, también yo veo así una oportunidad tal vez con el producto, tal vez. Si el maestro dice, no, esto nunca va a funcionar, ok, está bien. Pero preguntaste, ya sabes lo que, lo que dice. And, and in one of them, I have like include something about, well, if it is possible, something about content or product, if it is. Uh -huh. Quiero que estás considerando los okay. tres. Okay. Cuando estás preparando para la, el, 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 la entrevista, quiero que estás notando, ok, voy a preguntar a fuerza en esta actividad, proceso, y también voy a preguntar algo de producto. Mm -hmm. Y el contenido no, si, si menciona algo el maestro, pues voy a preguntar más, pero eh, el, el proceso es obvio, pero también podría ser algo de, de producto. Casi todo, el, el proceso y producto es así muy legada y también el contenido, ¿no? La verdad, el contenido, te, pero quiero que tú veas la conexión entre contenido, proceso y producto, differentiating, pero así, como a la par, así vienen juntos. No es así como muy separado, de hecho, no, es más fácil de pensar en los tres así juntos, porque de <coughs> content, The content is más como the input, like the content is like the input. So where did the input come from? Of course, the, the input may be coming from the teacher. But imagine if the, te if the students had options of getting this information wherever they wanted. What would it look like? Is it possible? Are there challenges? Would it work? What does the teacher think? And maybe ask later the students, but that... Think of those three together at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. And later on, I have, like, for example, no, like the interaction. Uh, we were talking yeah, yesterday. And like, for example, no, I know that you are going to have classes in the next week. Then what are you planning to do? What are you planning on doing? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, pues que me diga. Y puedes hablar así en, en el sentido de actividades. What activities are you planning? Mm -hmm. And then from there, start talking about differentiating content process, but around those activities. So maybe think in terms of activities, not so much the teacher speaking to the whole group, but besides that, any other activities? Mm -hmm. And then I have, have you talked about on giving students different options or freedom according to what the teacher says, what yeah. the activities? Yeah. Um, if it is possible, <coughs> how will you do it? Así, yes. así es. And, teacher, and if, for example, the teacher tell me about an activity that could be a possible use of differentiated instruction, do I have to, to answer? No, do I have to, to ask, like, more options that the teacher is going to give or only because only the reasons of por qué lo está haciendo. Okay, so are the reasons, uh, un ejemplo, un ejemplo que podría decir el maestro que estás pensando. Por ejemplo que si es el de la skill of the writing, que diga no, pues Ahora ustedes busquen información que ustedes quieran, es en, en el calle, en su computadora o así. Que me diga algo así parecido. Si el maestro dice en este, uh -huh. ese es un... Eh, lo que tú quieres ver es... ¿Qué hacer? ¿Qué hacer? No es así como una opción hipotético. No, es... Tú estás preguntando qué, qué puedes planear y hacer en su clase. No. No, no, estoy diciendo, así es. Es decir, tu intervención, estás hablando, preguntando, ¿verdad? ¿Qué va, va a ser mañana su clase? Ajá. Eh. ¿Sí? El maestro va a decir, ok, estoy, pues, estoy pensando en este, 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 ok, ¿verdad? Ok. Cuando está explicando, estás escuchando oportunidades o ejemplos de differentiation, ¿verdad? Si el maestro dice en algunos ejemplos, y está diciendo, sí, voy a planear este. Mañana voy a hacer este. Voy a dar opciones para los alumnos. Para este, da, 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 da. Bien. Entonces bueno, tú dices, bien. Amplios. Punto. Uh -huh. Pero tienes que escuchar bien para ejemplos, ¿no? Uh -huh. Si el maestro no, no indica 
así ninguna indicación sobre differentiation es cuando tú tienes que preguntar más uh -huh. right. dirigiendo bueno podrías hacer este y este lo que tú vas a decir es un ejemplo de differentiation uh -huh. y va a decir no 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 puedo hacer este ah, ok por qué por, no en los chavos no 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 ok es, es, es importante es importante eso Ahora es cuando tienes que pensar, ok, voy a tratar de ofrecer otra opción. Este, entonces tienes que trabajar así de esta manera. Igual, pensando en los tres. No importa cuál de los tres. No importa si son dos de los tres o uno de los tres. O nada más es contenido. No importa, pero estás tratando de Qué preguntar, bueno. negociar, trabajar con el maestro para que incluya el mínimo uno de estas, uh -huh. si sí se puede. Si dice que no, así de todo, ok. Termina, terminas, observes la clase y ver igual oportunidades, ¿verdad? Para que cuando ya tienes otra entrevista, puedes reflexionar con el sí. maestro y proponer, ok, me fijé que si hiciste esta en clase, ¿no podrías hacer esta así de...? Y, y ver otro ciclo, a ver si con otra observación. Sí, entonces, indirectamente estás apoyando, dando ejemplos o, o sugerencias, pero sin diciendo así, alguien eso, eso, eso. Uh -huh. Entonces, es muy así como estás escuchando bien y, y ver si el maestro está dando algo de como ejemplos y tú estás así como dirigiéndolo, pero no proponiendo tanto eso. Tan directo. No. Uh -huh. Pero si tú piensas después, no sé, dos o tres observaciones o ciclos de este tipo, que todavía no, ahora propones algo, puedes hacer este tipo, así uh -huh. más dirigido. Y ese también, podemos hablar, puedes decir después la primera eh, observación o, o entrevista o ciclo, podemos hablar, ¿verdad? Y me dices qué pasó y te apoyo en ese, así voy a darte... Sí, como sugerencias a través de todo el proceso, ¿no? Pero esa es lo que es la idea, ¿sí? Si sí, el maestro está dando muchos ejemplos, si sí voy a... Y no es cuando estás planeando, no es hipotético, no es... Sí, podrías hacer este, este, pero no, no sé qué voy a hacer, no. Quieres que, que el maestro dice, mañana estoy planeando este, este, este. Y en esta conversación estás escuchando, ok... Puedes preguntar, ok, cuando, cuando van a hacer esta actividad los chavos, ¿vas a dar este, opciones para encontrar la información? No, I hadn't thought about that, but maybe, uh, o puede ser, ah, sí, yeah, I'm gonna, ok, tú ya sabes. O si dices, no, I can't do that, ah, ok, ¿por qué? No, porque eso no, ok. Del proceso, hay una manera que, que ellos, que, o que puedes dar así como opciones o, este, un poco más freedom para que ellos... Ah, pues sí, así como este. Entonces vas uno por uno, contenido, proceso y producto. Sí. Sí, escucho. So, like, in order to apply my interview, mm -hmm. I only, in this, in this last question, to include something about product. Sí, tú pones así lo que tú necesitas, ¿verdad? Lo que yo quiero que estás considerando producto. Sí. Ajá. Pero tú pones... Eso así como tú lo necesitas, ¿sí? Y, y después de la, de la entrevista, vamos a practicar a, a ver cómo te sirvió este, si te apoyó este, porque tal vez la próxima va a decir, no, la próxima vez nada más voy a hacer este, este, este. Sería otro instrumento y es, vamos a incluir los dos instrumentos o tres, lo que, es, lo que vas a utilizar en los appendix. Uh -huh. So, it is fine if I ask this. Sí, well, es, está bien basado en lo que hemos hablado. Uh -huh. Sí. Entonces, la, la, casi todo está bien, nada más hay algunas. En el último, claro, claro, claro. Ajá. Pero sí, tienes la idea, ya este, pienso bien que tienes la idea. Ok, sí. Yes, teacher. So, I'm going to do the interview and then, depending on... What happened in the interview? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me know. We can discuss it. But just be careful with the difference between the reflection piece and the intervention. 
Yes. Or that. So you're probably, you know, and this is the first interview. So you're you're going to be reflecting first, and then intervention, interventions, like move forward. And you want a commitment. You want you want to know what the teacher's planning on doing before, and for you to know. That's where you can possibly influence, depending on what the teacher says. If the teacher's giving all kinds of examples of differentiation, well, then you don't have to do anything. So, okay, sounds good. Excellent. You don't have to do anything. But if the teacher is not, and again, think of those three. Think, even if the teacher um, differentiates, gives great examples of differentiating content, great examples of differentiating the process of what they're going to do tomorrow and nothing on product. Well, then you ask, okay, what about product? Mm -hmm. Right? It's, it's, it doesn't matter if they only, if they don't, it doesn't matter what they do in class. But you're asking, you're just, because you want the opinion from the teacher. You want the, the, the teacher to say, no, I, I can't differentiate product. There. It, it doesn't work because of this. Okay. Or the teacher might say, oh, well, I could, but uh, or whatever they say, that's good information. It's all good information. Mm -hmm. All right. So, give it a shot. And let me know how yeah. how things will go. How how they go with the teacher. When do you plan on applying the interview? In the interview? I think today because on Monday he has classes okay. at night. Right. So just make sure you record it. All right and. When you finish, I want you to go back and this weekend, listen to it again. Even if you know kind of what to expect in class, I want you to listen more importantly. I want you to listen to how it went. I want you to kind of evaluate how you think you did. And then our next conversation, whenever you're ready to talk about it, I'd like it would be helpful to hear your own interpretation. Say, oh, okay, I, I asked this, but I forgot I should have asked this. or. I asked this, and he told me some really good information on this, so that uh, I can see that you're kind of because this first one you're it's good. The first one's always the hardest, mm -hmm. but it, uh, hopefully you'll do enough. You'll be able to do enough cycles that you can do this again and again, and 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 you're going to get much better if you really pay attention and reflect on each time you do it, um, so that you're better prepared for the next one. Yes, teacher. All right, Gomez. So it looks, I'm anxious to see what happens, huh? yes. what, what happens in the class and what the teacher says and does. Yes, so you will answer something, yeah. Muy bien.